Hey YouTube, Iron Core here. Today we're going to be working on the Iron Mustang. I will link its Instagram in the description below if you want to feel free to check that out. But this video is going to be a how-to and it's going to be in regards to replacing the fuel gasket or fuel grommet. And this is regards to if you're smelling uh, your fuel leaking or you'll see any leaks coming out of your fuel tank, this video will hopefully solve that problem for you. All the instructions I have on my phone over here and it's from LMR.com. I found their instructions very useful. I just saw no video on the internet of how to do this so I thought I'd make one for you guys to check out and hopefully you enjoy the video and I will try to be very de descriptive of the whole installation process. First thing you guys will need is a 3 8 ratchet with a 3 8 drive extension which is found here and that's the 3 8 next thing you need I'm not sure which size of T15 torque bit I don't know which one's the 15 but we will figure it out, out later but that's going to be the holder for it which you'll connect to this you'll see later in the video I have gloves here just in case you don't want to get too dirty then I have safety glasses of course there's the fuel gasket itself. The motor oil is going to be for the fuel gasket and it's going to be used to lube the inside and outside of it so it's an easy installation the next time you have to do it. And plus it will protect it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jack up the car. Right here is what we're going to replace. You can see it's really corroded and I will put a arrow right there right now so you can see what I'm talking about because I'm holding the camera and that's what we're going to replace and so let's go do that so i ended up jacking up the car put a jack stop right underneath the right passenger rear wheel and they tell you in the instructions to remove the tire i'm going to see if i can get away with out doing that if i have to you guys will see the tire disappear anyways let's go on to the next step all right next thing that we're going to be taking off is going to be this eight millimeter bolt right here and that's holding the fuel filler tube in place kind of slid right there but that should be okay I'm gonna cut to me taking it off okay just took it off and now on to the next step next thing we're gonna take off or these two T15 screw bolts and those two as well these two are gonna be first because that's gonna pop off this so once you take those off you gotta just set that to the side and then we're gonna take these ones off and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done okay just taking that off now there it is now the next step is going to be taking off these two they're the same size so next step is going to be taking off uh, there's gonna be three three eighths bolt and uh, I gotta remove the gas cap to get to that so I'm gonna show when I get those bolts removed uh, what I just noticed is these are not uh, eight millimeter bolts they're ten mil millimeter bolts so your car might be different on what size those are. You'll just have to figure that on your own. Anyways, uh, I'm going to take those off now and we'll go from there. Next step we're going to have to do is we're going to have to remove this piece right here. It just has one, two, three, four clips to pop that off because we got to move this trim piece out of the way. And when we end up doing so, we're going to get, I don't know if you can see it in there very well, uh, we're going to end up removing some stuff down there. I probably should have mentioned this earlier. If you get one of these, you can see that you can put a clip through there. And for example, put it like that. It should be a lot easier. I was just using a flathead. So I definitely suggest investing in one of these. I'll try to find it on Amazon or something and link it down below. Anyways, uh, back to taking apart the interior a little bit. 
So I ended up not being able to get that tube off, so I just moved it off to the side so I can get this guy more clearance. And I'm going to try to take that out from this area out here, which you fill your tank from. Got it out, and when I said before of pulling it out of here it does not work, it's going to end up being like right here in this area, and you're just going to have to wiggle it out is what I ended up doing. Part of the grommet was broken. I have it right here this part and the other part of the grommet which I don't know if you can see this but there's like pretty much two it looks like two pieces but it's one piece. It just corroded and broke off. One of the part went into the fuel tank itself so I'm not going to worry about it. If it stops my car I'll drop the fuel tank and try to remove it but other than that you should be fine and now you're going to do everything in the reverse if you guys have any questions on this video just leave it in the comment below i'll try to answer it the best i can but i'm going to definitely link the website where i saw all this information and like i said it's between i, I believe it was an 82 to a 98 or 04 can't remember off the top of my head i'll definitely link it in the video but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed let me comments. I always appreciate it. And if you share it, it's even a bonus. But go ahead and check out the Iron Mustang or Iron Mustang. Uh, I'll link the Instagram below. And definitely support me there too. Anyways, have a good day, guys. Bye. This is me putting on the rubber grommet. You have to really cram it on there. And that's pretty much how far I got right now. It's pretty tough. A flathead screwdriver might help you out, but anyways, uh, kind of forgot to mention that part. So if you thought the video was ending, there's still more to it. But that's pretty much a, the final step that I'll put in this video. Anyways, if I have any more uh, stuff I come across, I'll put it together. I'll definitely put it in this video. If not, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. So I thought I was going to end off the video there, unfortunately I have to siphon my gas because my tank was full and I'm going to end up having to drop my tank because this, uh, I believe, it's right there, that is at such an angle I can't put it back into the fuel tank so I have to drop the fuel tank itself to be able to get that pipe in. Okay, this is going to be the best angle I can get for you guys to see, but this is underneath the uh, fuel tank, and these are two brackets that, there's a bracket here you have to remove, and there's one down there, and it has a bar that goes across, so I'm going to loosen these up a little bit, I'm going to do just a, a little bit because there's actually, you can see a piece of wood right here, I'm going to try to angle the camera down. If it focuses the light, I have a piece of wood that's going all the way across supporting up the tank. So I'm going to slowly loosen that to drop down the fuel tank. So when you take off these two brackets, it will lower it down. You'll have to get someone to help you out. I had my dad help me out on it, uh, lowering this side down. And that way I could actually get this pipe into the fuel tank. Uh, I took some maneuvering out but make sure you don't forget about this bracket right here too. I use a zip tie so that way it wouldn't move around and now just putting everything back together uh, just everything you did first just in reverse. Um, that should be it of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry midway through that I ended up saying that the video was done. I thought it was, but it was definitely more involved. Anyways, uh, I will talk to you guys next time I work on my car, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.